Today we are going to start our next topic organizational levels in SAP MM and its customizing. So the topics that we will be covering today they are relationships between the org levels of MM and the environment, significance of purchasing organization and reference purchasing organization, customizing of plant and its storage location with different addresses, valuation area and its customizing. So let us start with a business example. You are working on a new project and you have been given the requirements to customize the org model in SAP. Okay, so how would you do that? So that's what we're going to learn today. So before we start SAP MM org model and its customizing, we just need to understand a little bit about the org units in accounting. Okay, because they are interlinked. So from accounting point of view, um, we have different um, org units. Okay, so for example, the first one here, the name is not here, so let me write down here, this one. This one is a company code. Okay, that's a company code. Okay, that's one of the important uh, and top level org unit within a accounting. Okay, so org company code is basically assigned to a, a charts of account. Okay, so I'll discuss about them in a minute. And this is also linked to a business area. Okay, and in company code, you define the currency. What is the local currency depending on the country? For where it's a US, then it's a USD. If it's Australia, it will be AUD, the currency you define at company code level. And this is also linked to a controlling area. Okay, so this all the accounting concepts. So I'll just give you some overview about this. So before we go to the next screen, I'll show you how, how and where the company code is defined. Okay, and uh, let's see the company code definition first in customizing. So if you go to this menu path, you will find it. So if I go to SPRO, SAP reference IMG. Under enterprise structure, you can see one is called definition, one is called assignment. Okay, definition we will define, assignment means we will link each other. So def definition and then financial accounting. And here you can see edit, copy, delete, check company code. Open that. Here you define, go to edit company code. So here all the company codes are defined. Okay, so standard one we're using is thousand company code. Okay, so if you remember when you create the purchase order, if I go to ME21N, we use a company code purchase org and all that. So here, if you open the header, go to all data, here you can see company code. Okay, so you need to give a company code for the purchase order. So that's the company code we're using so far. So if I double click on this company code, here you can see the city and the country and currency and all that, or you can, you can click on this little icon, address to maintain the address. Okay, so wherever, whatever company it is that in their head office, all the address, phone number, etc., the name is defined here. Okay, but the most important thing here is the currency. What is the currency of that country? Okay, so Euro, that's why we see most of the stuff in Euro in our system. Okay, so that's a company code. Now, here the company code is defined. We cancel that. And here, so let's see some theory about it first. <clears throat> company code, what is company code? So from theory perspective, this is the smallest and minimum necessary org structure in SAP that required by law to provide a set of financial report, okay? So it is basically, um, you can say it's a mandatory. It is mandatory to have a company code in the system to run SAP system. Even if a company is using a third party software for their accounting system, but still they need to create a company code in the customizing if they want to use SAP MM. So that's the company code. Then charts of accounts. So what is charts of account? 
This is a list of all general ledger accounts used by one or several company codes. Okay, so charts of accounts is the next step. So company codes are a link to charts of accounts. Okay, so what is charts of account? This is a list of all general ledger accounts used by one or several company codes. So here, if I show you under assignment, that's a definition and under the assignment, uh, here somewhere, so let me do a control F. If you search for assign company code to charts of accounts, so just a chart, so that's a one. So here, all the company code, so the company code we're using is 1000. And here you assign to the charts of account. Okay, so here 1000 company code is that. And the chart of account is INT. Okay, so INT is further used in the determination of um, the general ledger account that we'll talk in the other topic later on. Okay, so this is just to remember for now, 1000 is assigned to INT charts of accounts. Okay, this is assigned to INT chart of accounts. Okay, so we just need an overview of this one. We don't need to go into details, but we'll go into details for MM. Then we have controlling area. What is controlling area? This is an org unit within a company for which complete self-contained cost accounting can be carried out. A controlling area can cover one or more company code. So again, this is a part of the company code. Okay, so if I go back and again, if I go to definition and somewhere here under controlling, maintain controlling area. Okay, that's a controlling area. So here you maintain the controlling area. Okay, so maintain. So there's a maintained here. Okay, so I can select a thousand company uh, controlling area, open that. And you can see all the details within the controlling area. You have the currency and fiscal year and all that. So go back, go back. Okay, so that's your controlling area. And I'll show you where the controlling area are assigned. So here under assignment, under controlling, assign company code to controlling area. Open that. So that's the list of your controlling area. So thousand number controlling area. And here on the left hand side, you can do assign the company codes here. Okay, so under this one, under thousand, you have two company codes, thousand and that's another one. Okay, so, so you can see that's assignment for company code. Okay, so company code is linked to charts of account. They're also linked to your controlling area. Okay. And the last one is business area. Okay, this is an org unit that corresponds to specific business segment or area of responsibility in a company. Okay, so business area means if a company has say three different types of uh, product, for example, they can have a automobile product, they can have electronic product, they can have a third one, say something else. So here they have two options. One, they can create one company code for each type of business, or they can create a business area and divide the business to three different division and assign the business area to company code. Okay. So what that means is here, if you go to the business area, under this definition, business area, that one, define business area, open that. So here you can define, you can divide, so it's a mechanical engineering, it's uh, something else, it's automotive, it's metal, wood, aerospace, chemical. So you can divide that here and further it is assigned not to the company code, but to other components of accounting side. Okay, so we just need to remember mainly, mainly basically that we have a company code, okay, which is required by law, which is assigned to a charts of account and also the business area.